government has uh, understood the importance of IT industry and uh, actually the IT industry has contributed heavily uh, to our Sri Lankan economy in the past uh, couple of years and according to the uh, IT sector uh, we have uh, had uh, foreign earnings about 100, uh, 1.5 to 1.7 billion US dollars. Uh, now, when you compare it with other uh, uh, sectors, other other industries, like uh, if you take plantation, it has taken more than 100 years to achieve 4 billion mark, right? And within 10 to 15 years, the IT sector has achieved that. I mean up to 1.5 billion so uh, there are some challenges right now uh, because of the current situation and uh, in going uh, brain drain we are having some challenges but it is a realistic target and we think we'll be able to do it uh, within two years that is end of uh, 2024 we'll be able to achieve that target and we have also uh, implemented long-term, short-term and uh, medium-term goals to achieve this target. No, it is realistic, but there are challenges as I mentioned, right? Uh, for short-term, what we are planning to do is to introduce IT uh, subject into the uh, curriculum of art sector in the undergraduate in the universities right now if you take uh, arts undergraduates what they do is when they finish their degree they look for jobs right and if we introduce IT uh, we'll be able to employ them as soon as they finish their degrees that is one thing that is a short-term goal That is, that is the main challenge we have. Right now we have about, I mean, there is a vacuum about 20,000 IT professionals in Sri Lanka or more. And uh, so not only there, if you, if you, we have to uh, start from the school level, even uh, after O levels and A levels, when we look at the school levers, uh, about 300,000 are unemployed. So if we can introduce IT into say vocational training, uh, it will also benefit the IT sector. If you look at the uh, technology, when you compare with other countries in this region, we are far behind. Right, and uh, everybody talks about industrial revolution. Right, industrial revolution. They talk about industry 4.0, but I uh, are, are we in line with the current uh, industrial revolution? If uh, except for uh, apparel sector, all the other industries are far behind. So, what we have uh, planned is to leap from from industry 2.0 to industry 4.0 so that is a big challenge and uh, we are planning to have symposiums as well as uh, exhibition with the industry 4.0 where all the experts from technical experts uh, from international uh, companies in the industry can come and uh, I mean, to participate in this exhibition. So we are planning to have that. <music> to start with uh, the teacher training program, we have already started training 700 uh, teacher training uh, programs. 700 teachers have been trained uh, last year and we are planning to train more uh, more than 1500 uh, teachers this year as well 
so and for the first time uh, with the collaboration of the ministry of education uh, ministry of technology and icta uh, we have drafted a digital transformation policy for schools that is very important so one thing is uh, it's uh, for o level and a level students we are trying to uh, change the renew the curriculum where it suits the uh, IT job market, where it is relevant to the IT job market. Now, under the Next Gen Government Program, the I ICTA initiated to train 100,000 government officers, right? We implemented this last year third uh, last quarter of last year and uh, we are planning to train more than 40,000 government officials this year so the target is uh, uh, if right according to the 2023 budget according to the budget speech of his excellency the president uh, we are to implement uh, introduce 100 percent digital transformation in 2024 that is all the services in the government sector okay. so for that we have to train all the officials otherwise it won't work it won't be practical it is practical because we have already started uh, this project and we are trying to actually some of the uh, institutes say if you take uh, Colombo Municipal Council uh, some of the services have been uh, done by digital transactions that is the biggest issue right now uh, we, we have had some discussions with uh, some of the relevant ministries and uh, they are willing to support us Now, now the Cyber Security Act has been drafted already and we are uh, waiting for the amendments, there are some amendments and then we are going to send it to the legal draftman. So it will, uh, I mean it will protect the uh, individuals where there are so many issues right now, uh, not only the individuals, the institutes and even the private sector. We are trying to put it to parliament as soon as possible. I think that is the main project of our ministry. The unique UID or the unique digital ID is uh, the ID with biometrics. Uh, this project is funded by the Indian government and they have allocated around 300 million uh, Indian rupees, three, sorry, 3,000 million uh, Indian rupees, that is about 3 uh, billion and uh, around 13 billion Sri Lankan rupees. So, so far we are planning to advertise it uh, this end of this month or early next month. And after that, we are trying to, uh, I mean, the technical expert is from our ministry and the ICTA. And after that, uh, we are going to hand it over to the Department of uh, Identity. No, actually, that's uh, that is why we are going to advertise it in uh, India. Okay. This is funded by India, and they have implemented this a uh, couple of years ago. So we are going to uh, get the technical uh, uh, know-how from the Indian uh, sector. I mean, Indian uh, IT sector. <laughs>
Now, uh, last year we have uh, approved it, uh, we have uh, presented it to the parliament and uh, the act has been approved okay. and uh, we have to form the authority as soon as possible. There are some uh, amendments as well, okay. but we will be able to uh, form the authority, uh, I think, if, uh, within a couple of months. <music> That will also that will also protect the uh, data, individual data, okay. as well as uh, all the data from uh, the government sector as well. Okay.